Welcome to Small Seeds. My name is Madeline, and today we're going to talk about a very delicious wild edible, Harry Bittercress. Harry Bittercress is probably one of my favorite edibles to find growing all over the lawn and in the garden in late winter to early spring. It's one of the first ones I see starting to pop up and bloom. It has these sweet little white flowers. They're actually very pretty. It's a relative of broccoli, making it a wild brassica. The name's Harry. Harry Bittercross. And I'm one wild brassica. So we aren't going to talk too much about the specifics on identifying Harry Bittercress. Today we kind of just want to put it in the spotlight for you so that you can go out and do your own research and learn how to identify this plant before having that positive identification, do not just go out and eat a plant that looks like Harry Bittercress. Um, I'm sure there are some lookalikes, but you really should uh, always have your own positive identification. You might find a few different looking leaf patterns growing on the plant and that's normal. So here we have a flower stalk and on the flower stalks the leaves look a lot more feathery than the leaves found at the base of the plant. And before the plant begins to flower, you'll find it growing in a very uh, distinctive basal rosette formation. And this is much easier to see before it shoots up its flower stalks. So we tend to find this plant growing all over the lawn, in the garden beds. Um, it really seems to favor wet, disturbed soils. And of course you'll find it growing healthier and larger in better soil conditions. For example, when it's on the lawn, I can see the uh, flower stalks shooting up, but I can't see any other leaves. I cannot see the basal rosette formation of the base of the plant. However, when it is in the garden, you can see the whole plant and it just looks very healthy. So you can find hairy bittercress growing usually in the USDA growing zones of 4 through 8. It is a native plant to Europe and Asia. However, it is naturalized here in America and many other countries. All above ground parts of the plant are edible, so that's the stems, the leaves, the flowers. Some people find the leaves to be more palatable than the stems and flowers. I enjoy all parts of the plant. However, once the plant starts to go to seed, the stems get woody and they're no longer really good to eat. I'm sure there's many different ways to use this plant. Uh, my favorite is just eating it fresh and raw. Definitely one of my favorite wild edibles. Enjoy. Every bit of crass. Hairy bit of crass. It's so cool. It's the best. Hairy bit of crass. Eat the leaves and eat the stems. Eat the flowers too. It's one wild brassica for you. My name's Harry. Harry Bittercress. 